I want to show you how you can use the vendor approval workflow to help control new vendors added to your vendor list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new vendor in Dynamics GP here. And you see this little strip here. This is a workflow strip that shows you the progress in that workflow attached to vendors. So I'm going to submit this for approval and add a little note there and hit submit. Let's try to do a payables transaction with that new vendor before it's been approved. And here's a new payables transaction. Now if I try to post that, I'll get this message right here. So let's just save this into a batch and we'll come back to it later. Let's take a look at the workflow that I set up for new vendors. In the workflow maintenance screen, I've got a vendor approval workflow here. Let's take a look at it. I've got two steps. The first step is a task, and it's to review inside view for information about this new vendor. The second part is to approve this vendor so it's added to my vendor list. So let's see this in action. And I've got an email about this new vendor that's been added. So I'm one of the people that are going to do the first task, which is to look at inside view. And what I can do is I can drill right down into that vendor and get information on that particular vendor. Here's a vendor maintenance screen. Now let's go do the task, which is to find more information about this from inside view. So I'm popping out to my version of inside view here. And this gives me information about that vendor. If I'm also connected to CRM, I can actually move this information into CRM. Or I'm just going to use this as a report for information on this particular vendor. So I'm just going to save it. Now I'm going to go back to my vendor record in Dynamics GP. I'm going to attach that document from inside view so it becomes a part of the record. It's now attached and I can preview that at any time. If somebody wants more additional information, they can just drill down on this and get that information right here. So now I've completed my task and I can note that right on this vendor maintenance form as a task complete. Can add a little note if I want to. Hit task complete. And now, and now the workflow will advance to the next stage, which is the vendor approval. I received another email asking me to approve this vendor. So I can open that up. And again, I could drill down to the vendor master file and approve it there, or I could approve it right here from the email. I can add a little note to this approval if I want to. And we'll update Dynamics GP. So I received that email from the workflow. I approved it right within the email, and that vendor is ready to go. Now if I go back to that previous payables transaction, now that the vendor is approved, this should post right through with no problem. Let me take it out of the batch and post it. There it goes. So the vendor approval workflow in Dynamics GP is going to help you control your vendors. You can have different people doing different aspects of this process that I just showed you. You can also modify the workflow to have different steps, doing different tasks, doing different approval levels to groups or individuals. So if you haven't tried it out, you should really try out this new workflow mechanism. It works quite well.